Hello YouTube, today we're going to be continuing on with our Linux Ubuntu web server tutorials and we're going to be talking about how to install a content management system or CMS in our Ubuntu server. So now there's a common uh, CMSs out there. First there's WordPress, then there's Joomla, and then there's Drupal, and there's just a ton. So what we're going to show today is at first WordPress and then Joomla. And so let's begin our tutorial here. So we've gone to WordPress.org and it'll bring you to this nice page. And you can go to download up here and then just hit download WordPress 3.3.2. And we'll click here because that's in our Chrome browser. We have downloaded our WordPress install and we can see that we have a WordPress file right here. So now what we want to do is get that WordPress file into our server so that we can go ahead and install it. So let's just extract this to our desktop. It's a zip file and you can see here that it's done extracting and we'll just go ahead and open up our FileZilla from before our FTP manager and we'll minimize this and we'll go to 192.168.0.109 if you need your IP address you can just go into your Ubuntu server and type ifconfig and it'll show you right where it says inet address under eth0. Our username from before was web user and our password was just password. And here we go, we're in and we'll just go up a couple directories until we're at the root of our system here. And we can see that we are in slash var and then slash www and that's where our files will be stored. So we're going to put our WordPress folder in here, but before we do that, let's create some users and groups. So we need a group that will allow WordPress and FTP to both write and read from that directory simultaneously. So let's create a group. We'll use the, we'll say sudo group add, and then let's create a group of website and our password and there we go we have created that group so now we have to add both the user web user and our www data user to this group so the command that you now want to use is user add dash capital G and then the name of the group, which we just said was website, and then the name of our user. So at first, let's add www-data, and this is what Apache will use. And that actually gave us an error because what we want to do is add a user to our group. So instead, what we're going to use is the sudo and user mod command dash a dash g and then the name of our group so website and then the name of our user so www dash data and that will add our www dash data user to that website group so let's do the same for our main user what we call the web user and now that person is added as well so what this will allow us to do is set permissions on the Apache folder and that way WordPress and Joomla can write to this folder. So let's go to our webmin by, let's find our IP address and we can see our IP address is 192.168.0.109. So let's open up a new tab and HTTPS and then let's go to 109 colon 1000, 10,000, excuse me, and we'll go to other, and we'll go to our file manager, and we'll just use this to change our file permissions. You can do this with chmod, but this is easier, and we'll go to var, we'll go to www, and we'll actually go here, and we'll click on www data, or the directory itself, hit info, it'll bring up a window and now under ownership you want to add the group 
website, which is what we just created. And then we want this directory and its files. And then we also want to edit that again. And say this directory and all subdirectories and hit save. So now we can see here that under our group, website owns this um, directory right here. So we can add things and have it interact between WordPress and our server. So that's great. So let's go into our FileZilla and let's look at our WW data path. And let's take that WordPress file that we downloaded. You can see here that it's on my desktop. And let's bring it over to our server. So we can right click and then hit upload. And that'll upload everything for WordPress right into this folder. And so I'll unpause when it is finished. And actually to fix a mistake that we made, we want to go back to that www directory, hit info again and then under user, change this from root to web user or whichever user you're using to FTP and then we're just going to um, apply changes to this directory and its files and then go back again and say that all of its subdirectories will apply the setting as well and then once you do that you can open up FileZilla and you can see our WordPress file here, let's, or folder, let's go ahead and upload this and you can see here that it's transferring and we should be ready to go soon. So while it's transferring, let's go ahead and create a database and talk a little bit about what databases allow us to do. So what databases are, are a way to store information for things like content management systems or any other information that you'd like to store. So it's going to access this database using PHP but first we have to set it up. So let's go to our IP address. And in the other tutorial we showed phpMyAdmin. So let's go to phpMyAdmin after our IP address. And let's sign in. So it was root and then our password of password. And then once we we'll sign in, we can see that we're in our phpMyAdmin. So we can go to databases. And let's create a database called WordPress and then hit create and you can see that the database has been created and that's all we have to do within phpMyAdmin for now. So now let's go back to our FileZilla and we can see here that everything is successfully transferred. Well that's great so let's begin our WordPress installation. So let's go to our IP address and when we go to that IP address we can see that we still are served this index.html file. Well, we actually have to go to the subdirectory called WordPress. And you can see here that it brings up our WordPress install. So let's create a configuration file. And you'll need the following information, and I'll tell you what to enter. If you're on a paid host or a free host, and you're not actually doing this within Ubuntu server, this will work just fine. Your host should be able to tell you this information. So just as before, we created a a database in here and its database name was WordPress and that's what we named it here so let's just leave WordPress the same but if you change the name to something else then go ahead and enter that there and our username we used root and our password was actually password and our database host will be localhost but if you're on a paid for or free host then your database host may be different so let's hit submit and we can see here that the WP config file was unable to be written. So let's attempt to fix that. So the problem was, was that WordPress couldn't actually write to our WordPress folder. So let's go back to our webmin and let's go to info. And we can see here that under permissions, group is unable to write. And so that's what's causing the problem. We have to allow write so let's say this directory and its files and just as before let's apply it to everything and its subdirectories and let's hit save so let's go back to our WordPress setup and we'll just go back to our information here and then once that's done let's hit submit and a small mistake was made the username just has to be web user password of password database name of WordPress and 
database host of localhost. So hit submit. And we can see here that the username actually has to be root in this case. And that will allow us in. So let's hit submit. And we can see that it already exists because I have created it already, but it'll just say that you're ready to continue with installation. So let's title this Ubuntu Web Server. But you can title it what, whichever you'd like. I'm going to leave username as admin. You can change that accordingly. And password will be password. And then re enter. And there you go. And then email. Let's just say admin at Ubuntu webserver.com. That's not valid, but we'll, it'll do for now. And then we don't have to allow it, but I would if um, I was in your case. This is just a local server here, but um, if you would like it to show up in search engines, then click that and then hit install WordPress. And we're on our way. So let's hit login and it brings us to this nice login page. So let's enter in what we have. So admin and then our password of password and hit login. And we are in WordPress. So WordPress is our blogging platform or whichever you'd like to use it for. Let's go ahead and create a new post called Ubuntu Web Testing. And then we can enter in some text, say, hello world. And then we'll hit publish. And now let's actually view our new site. So just under Ubuntu web server or whatever you named your website, click visit site. And it'll take you right to your website and you can see that the default theme has been installed and that our hello world and Ubuntu web testing platform has been created. So now WordPress is very expansive. There's tons of themes, tons of plugins. Whatever you're thinking of is in the WordPress plugins page and you can go there by just going to your WordPress dashboard and then just go to plugins and then you can find themes and appearance themes and find your own theme and whatnot. So this has been how to set up WordPress and next will be Joomla. So now we're getting ready to install Joomla. Let's go to joomla.org and download the newest Joomla edition. You can see here that you can just go to download and then download 2.5 and we have it right here in our downloads manager. So let's go ahead and extract this, but let's actually put it in a folder so that it's much more cleaner. We'll say Joomla and then hit OK and that'll be extracting and once that's done we're gonna go ahead and upload that just like we did with WordPress and we'll configure the installation and whatnot. So let's go back to our FileZilla and let's reconnect and then let's go to var www and then let's get our newest refresh of our desktop and let's upload Joomla so right click and then upload and then we can see here that it's uploading about 4000 files but that should be done soon since it's on my local network but this can take up to anywhere between 10 to 50 minutes depending on your internet connection speed but we'll resume after it's and we can see that our file transfer application is finished here let's actually make this a lowercase j just for the sake of being easy and we can see that it's all ready to go here if we right click on file permissions you can see here that it's um, allowing us to read write and allowing the group to read and write as well. So let's go to our webmin and let's actually refresh this directory. And then let's make sure that Joomla has indeed the correct groups. So there's one small thing that we'd like to change here and that is under group. Let's change this to website. And then just as before and then apply to all directories as well and hit save and then the write permission and the write
permissions for all the subdirectories and hit save. There we are, now we are set. And let's create a new database. Even though we can have Joomla installed underneath this database here, it'll make it easier if we just create a new one. So let's call this one Joomla. And let's hit create. And there we go, we can see that it's been created. And now let's go to our installation process. So we go to 192.168.0.109, then forward slash Joomla. And Joomla's is a little bit longer than WordPress's. So let's hit next. And we can see here that it's checking all the various stuff. And then we'll read their license agreement. And then we'll hit next. And we want MySQL, not MySQLi. And it's localhost, username of root, password of password and database name is Joomla. And then you can set its own table prefix. And then you can see here um, that if you have any existing tables from Joomla from beforehand, then you can back up or restore, but we'll just hit next. And we can skip this process if we like. Let's go ahead and skip it, but you can enter in your FTP data if you'd like here. And let's name our site. So let's do Ubuntu Web Server. Then our email was just admin at Ubuntu Web Server com. And we'll say admin again and password of password. And now we scroll down here. And we can just leave this the same. Hit next. And then let's remove the installation folder. And we can see that the folder has been successfully removed. And in order to continue, you have to remove that folder. And then let's log in here. So let's enter in our credential. So it was admin, password of password. Hit login. And we are in Joomla. So this is set up and running on our web server. And we can see that we have various stuff here. So let's just add an article for a test. Say hello. And then doesn't really need much description, but we'll say hello world. And we'll hit save. We can see here that it has been published. And we can go to our website by hitting view site here. And we can see that the article isn't actually attached here. And I shall do Joomla and WordPress tutorials in the future, but this will be our article if we were to set it up. So this is how you install WordPress and Joomla or any CMS in Ubuntu Server. The settings are almost the same from CMS to CMS. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.